Welcome to Go to Your Training, Measuring Training Performance, Video 4, Behavioral Measurement. We covered measurement of your system in the last video today, or in this session, we're going to look at behavioral measurement. We are aiming to produce some indication of reliability, as we stated in the first video. And what we mean by this in more detail is a reproducibility of results. That is, if I do the same thing again, will I get the same results? The obvious aim being a reliability of positive results. If, of course, we have a reliability of negative results, we want to stop trading right now, potentially, and we need to review the system we're using. However, the major barrier to your results being meaningful and accessible is the behavioral adherence to a system. Therefore, one of the primary tasks during review is to take out behavioral questionable results. By doing this, we can start to look at the behavioral aspects of our trading actions. Now, quite simply, our first aim is always to trade your plan. And your second aim is that you find out what is happening with specific trading actions. There are four potential scenarios. The first is hit, i.e. action when a signal was presented. And this is either correctly getting in or correctly getting out. The second scenario is a false alarm. That is, you took action when there was no signal, so it's incorrect with a early entry, i.e. you perhaps had a little bit of an itchy trigger finger, or you've exited too early, i.e. before there was any reversal in a long trade, or perhaps your profit tag wasn't yet hit. The third scenario is what we term a miss, when you stay in when a signal was presented in the case of exit, or not getting it in at all when a signal was presented. So consequently, it's an incorrect scenario resulting in a late entry or exit. And finally, there's a correct rejection, that is taking no action when there was no signal. So you stay in a trade when you're already in it or delay entry when it's not yet been a completed tick off of your trading plan. So quite obviously, what we're aiming for is either a hit, i.e. taking action when we should, or a correct rejection, i.e. taking no action when there's no signal to do so. So it's the middle two which create the problem. And so as we go through and look at the journal trades that we've taken and make comments on these, we can make some judgment about whether we've got out too early for in trades or we've got in too early uh, before a signal was fully established. Or was it a miss in that we stayed in too long? For example, we let our, our stop trail a little bit further down or we uh, decided not to take a profit target when it was there or we missed the signal completely. So as we record these, we can start to make some judgments in terms of what we need to work on from a behavioral point of view to take our trading to the next level. Now, there are all sorts of reasons for false alarms and misses. And of course, that, that will be the topic of future videos. But things like fear of missing out or FOMO or some of the other cognitive biases are often causes, as is trading plan statements, which are specific and unambiguous. So means that you haven't got that consistency in action that you desire. So make this part of your measurement because it will serve you well going forward. It's not a case of giving you something to beat yourself up with, but rather it's saying, look, I need to know what's going on so I can address it. Because awareness is the first step in any sort of development. And that includes the behavioral aspects of your trading too. <laughs>